Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet these cute dogs which I have named Dudley and Daphne Dog. So these dogs are part of my crochet animal series and in the description box below this video I will leave links to all of the written patterns and tutorials in this series. So for these dogs you will need a 4mm crochet hook and DK weight yarn. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So in this tutorial we are going to be going over how to make the dog, so how to make the little dogs which I have here. And you want to start off by making the body, arms and legs. And the body, arms and legs of all of the different animals in my crochet animal series are exactly the same. And I have a tutorial on my channel showing you how to make those parts. And if you have the written pattern, then it is all included on there. And I will have a link to the written pattern in the description box below this video. So you want to go ahead and make the body, arms and legs. And then we can move on and make the head. So to begin the head, you want to do a magic circle. So take your yarn and your crochet hook. So take the yarn and hook and you want to take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once. And you then want to wrap the yarn back over your finger to create a cross, like that. You then want to take your crochet hook and go underneath the first loop of the cross and you may need to pull it up a little bit but go underneath this first loop and then using your crochet hook pick up the second loop of the cross and pull it through and you can then take your finger out and there we have a magic circle and we are ready to begin round one so to begin round one you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. This just locks our magic circle into place. So now for round one, we are going to do seven single crochets into the magic circle. So seven single crochets. So go down into the magic circle and yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So there we have one single crochet and now go back down into the circle and do the same thing again. So do a second single crochet and then a third, fourth and a fifth, sixth and seventh. So there we have seven single crochets for round one. And now to finish off this round, we need to close up our magic circle. So to do that, you want to take this end or this tail here and pull it nice and tight. So pull it as tight as you can and that will close up the magic circle. And there we have finished round one and we are ready to begin round two. So we are now on to round two and round two of the head is pretty simple. We are just going to do two single crochets into every single stitch. So you want to go down into this first stitch here and if you're not sure which stitch to go into then you can count back seven stitches. So go down into this first stitch and do one single crochet. But before we work our second single crochet into that stitch, you want to take a stitch marker and place it into the stitch that we just worked. So just, just as we did with the body and the arms and the legs, we are going to be using a stitch marker to mark the first stitch of every round. So there we have done one single crochet into that stitch and placed a stitch marker into that first stitch of the round. And now we're going to do a second single crochet down into that same stitch. And now you want to do two single crochets both into the next stitch. 
and then do two into the next one and the next and the next all the way around. So there I have finished working that all the way around for round two and at the end of this round you should have 14 single crochets and now we are moving on to round three. So remove your stitch marker and in this round we are going to do two single crochets into one stitch and then one single crochet into the next all the way around. So we're doing two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around for round three. So go down into this first stitch here and do one single crochet and then place your stitch marker into that first stitch of the round. And now do a second single crochet down into that same stitch and then into the next stitch, we're going to do just one single crochet. So there we have two into one and one into the next and just continue working that all the way around until you reach the stitch marker. So I have come to the end of round three and at the end of this round you should have 21 single crochets and now we're on to round four. So remove the stitch marker and this round is kind of similar to last round but last round we did a two one two one all the way around and in round four we're going to do two one one two one one. So we're doing two single crochets into one stitch and then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. So go down into the first stitch and do two single crochets, placing your stitch marker into the first stitch of the round. Like that. And then do one single crochet into the next stitch and then one into the next. So there we have two, one, one, and just continue this for round four. So there I have finished working that all the way around for round four, and at the end of this round, you should have 28 single crochets. And now we're on to round five, so remove the stitch marker and in this round we're going to do two single crochets into one stitch and then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. So go down into the first stitch and do two single crochets into this one, placing your stitch marker into the first single crochet of the round. And then we're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch and one into the second one along and then one into the third one along. And now we're going to repeat that again. Do two single crochets both into the next stitch, then one into each of the next three stitches. And just keep repeating that all the way around. Two, one, one, one. So I have finished working that all the way around for round five and at the end of this round you should have 35 single crochets and now we're on to round six. 
So remove the stitch marker and this round follows the same pattern but in this round we're going to do two single crochets into one stitch and then one single crochet into four stitches all the way around. So go down into this first stitch and do two into this one placing the stitch marker into that first stitch and then you want to do one single crochet into four stitches like that so there we have two one 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 and you want to continue repeating that for round six So there I have come to the end of round 6 and at the end of this round you should have 42 single crochets and it's really important that you do have 42 at this point so I would recommend that you just quickly go back and double check that you do have that number and if you do we're ready to move on to round 7. So we are now on to round 7 of our little dog's head and for the next 5 rounds, so for rounds 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11, so 5 rounds, we are just going to do 1 single crochet into each stitch. So for each of those 5 rounds you want to remove the stitch marker and then do 1 single crochet into each stitch around and in each round you should have 42 single crochets. So we're going to remove the stitch marker to begin round 7 and do 1 single crochet into this first stitch and place the stitch marker back down into that one. And it's really important to make sure that you are using this stitch marker correctly so that you're removing it at the beginning of each round, working your first single crochet of the round and then placing the stitch marker back down into that first stitch, working all the way around and then when you reach it you know you are ready to move on to the next round. So we're now going to work one single crochet into the next stitch and the next and just continue this all the way around for round 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So I have finished working those rounds, so I have come to the end of round 11 and at the end of this round I still have 42 single crochets. And now we are moving on to round 12. So to start off this round, we are going to do four single crochets or one single crochet into each of the first four stitches. So go down into the first stitch here and do your first single crochet and place a stitch marker into that first stitch and then do one into the second one and the third and then the fourth so there we have four single crochets and now over the next two stitches you want to work two single crochets together so we use this stitch when we did the body and the arms and the legs and when you do two single crochets together you do two single crochets one into each stitch but you do not want to complete either of them and then complete them both together at the same time. So go down into the next stitch here and yarn over and pull up a loop but do not complete this single crochet and go into the next stitch and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So there we have done two single crochets together just as we have done throughout the rest of the dog and you just want to repeat this all the way around for round 12. We're going to do four single crochets then two single crochets together 
then four single crochets, two single crochets together all the way around. So repeat that again. like that and just keep doing that until you reach the stitch marker and you get to the end of the round. So there I have finished working that all the way around for round 12. So I have reached the stitch marker and I finished off by doing two single crochets together. And at the end of this round you should have 35 stitches. And now we're moving on to round 13. So remove the stitch marker. Round 13 is really simple. We're just going to do one single crochet into every stitch. So go down into the first one and put your stitch marker into that stitch and then do one into each stitch around. So there I have finished round 13 and now we're on to round 14. So to begin this round, we are going to do one single crochet into each of the first 14 stitches. So go down into the first one and do one single crochet. And then do one into the next and the third one and keep going until you have 14. like that. So there I have 14 single crochets and now in the middle of this round we are going to do three sets of two single crochets together. So you want to go down into the first stitch and start a single crochet and then do the same thing in the next stitch and then pull through all three loops. So there we have one set of two single crochets together over those next two stitches. And now we are going to do a second set of two single crochets together. And then a third. So we are doing three sets of two single crochets together in the middle of this round. And now you want to do one single crochet into each of the next 15 stitches and that should take you to the end of the round. So do 15 single crochets. So there I have worked those single crochets and I have come to the end of round 14 and at the end of this round you should have 32 stitches. And now we're on to round 15. So remove your stitch marker and we're going to start off by doing 13 single crochets or one single crochet into each of the first 13 stitches. So there I have those single crochets and now just like last round, in the middle of this round we are going to do three sets of two single crochets together. So work those three sets like that. And now to finish off this round you want to do 13 more single crochets and that should take you to your stitch marker.
So like that, so I have come to the end of that round and you should have 29 stitches. And now for round 16, so for the next round, you just want to do one single crochet into each stitch and there should be 29 single crochets. So there I have worked single crochets all the way around and now we can move on to round 17. So remove your stitch marker and in this round we are going to do two single crochets, one into each stitch and then two single crochets together over the next two stitches all the way around. So you go down into the first stitch and do one single crochet like that and then do one into the next stitch and then do two single crochets together over the next two stitches. So there we have one, one, two together and just keep repeating that all the way around. So do one into the next stitch and then one single crochet into the next and then two single crochets together all the way around. So I'm just coming to the end of round 17. So I have done one, one, two together and you should find that you have one stitch left at the end here and we're just going to do a single crochet into that last stitch. And at the end of this round, you should have 22 stitches around and now we're on to round 18. So for the next two rounds, for rounds 18 and 19, we're just going to do one single crochet into every stitch. So remove your stitch marker and do one into this first stitch, placing the stitch marker into that first stitch of the round and then do one into the next and the next and do that all the way around for round 18 and then 19. And in each of those two rounds, you should have 22 single crochets. So there I have finished working those two rounds. So I have come to the end of round 19. And now before we move on to the next round, we need to add some stuffing to the head. So I'm just going to pull my um, hook out and then pull my yarn out a bit so that it doesn't come undone. And then I'm going to remove my stitch marker as this sometimes gets tangled up in the stuffing. And then I just have some stuffing here. This is the same polyester stuffing that I used for the body and the rest of the dog. And I'm going to take a little bit and add it to the head. And you want to add it now as if you go any further, it will be really hard to get it to the back of the head here. And before you add the stuffing, make sure that this end from where you made the magic circle has been pulled through to the outside. So I have begun stuffing the head and now we can move on to round 20. So for this round, we're going to do one single crochet into one stitch and then two single crochets together over the next two stitches. So do one into the next stitch and it can be a little tricky working once you have stuffed the head. So I just like to kind of push the stuffing down behind the stitch that I'm working into. So do one into this first stitch and then do two single crochets together over the next two stitches and just continue this all the way around one two together one two together So 
So I'm just coming to the end of round 20. So I have done my last set of two together here and then you should have one stitch left and do a last single crochet into this stitch. And now before we move on to the next round, you can add a little bit of extra stuffing to the head like I have just done, just to fill up that last round. And now we're moving on to round 21. And this is the final round of the head. And in this round, we're just going to do sets of two single crochets together all the way around. And that should be seven sets. So I'm going to do my first set of two single crochets together. like that and you could place a stitch marker into that stitch but I'm not going to bother I'm just going to count them so there we have one set and then do a second set and keep going all the way around and that should be seven sets in total so there I have finished doing those sets and you should have one stitch left at the end so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of two single crochets together and I have one stitch left at the end and you just do not want to work into that stitch, just leave it empty and then you can fasten off, so pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn leaving a nice long tail as you can use this tail to sew up the end and then attach the head to the body. And then before we sew up the end, you want to add a little bit more stuffing to that final round. So just to stuff round 21. So I have added the final bit of stuffing and now you want to take the long end and thread it through a yarn needle. And we are going to sew up the bottom here. So we're just going to weave the needle in, out, in, out of these stitches around the bottom. So go in, through the next stitch and try not to pick up any stuffing so you can kind of press the stuffing down and pull the yarn through and then bring the needle in through the inside and go out of the next stitch and then come in from the outside in the next stitch and then in from the inside into the next stitch and work this all the way around so I have gone all the way around and reached where I started and then to finish off you want to pull this end nice and tight and that will close up the bottom there. And there we have finished our little dog's head. So this section which, which dips down here is where the eyes will go. So this is the top of the head and then the fuller straighter section is the bottom. So if you have a look at our dog this section which dips down is here and then this fuller part is the bottom and now we can move on and do the ears and just to secure this end you just want to kind of go in through these last few stitches and out and then go in and out and try not to pick up any stuffing especially if you're using a dark yarn as that will really show and then do the same thing on the back Pull the end tight and go in and out of these stitches to secure it and then weave that end to the inside. And now we can move on to the ears. So we are now going to move on to make the dog's ears and both ears are exactly the same so you will need to make two of these. So you want to start off by doing a magic circle just as we have done before and then for round one, chain one. And we are going to do six single crochets into the magic circle. So do one, two, three, four, five, and six, like that. So six single crochets. And then to finish off this round, pull the end here to close up the magic circle and now we're on to round two. So for round two we are going to do one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet, one single crochet, 
two single crochets. So we're doing that set of stitches two times. So go into the first stitch here and do one single crochet. Then do one into the next. And then do two both into the next. And then do one into the next. One single crochet into the next one. And then two single crochets into the next. So there we have two sets of one, one, two. And we have finished round two and we're on to round three. So round three is very similar to round two, but in this round, we're going to do two sets of one, 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 two. So go into the first stitch and do one single crochet and then do a second one into the next and a third single crochet and then do two single crochets into the next stitch and then repeat that set of stitches one more time one 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 two so there I have finished round three and now we're on to round four and you could be using a stitch marker for these rounds but I'm not going to as we just have two sets of those stitches then I'm just counting them but you could use a stitch marker if you wanted. So now round four follows the same pattern but in this round we're going to do four single crochets and then two into the next and we're going to do two sets of those stitches. So do one, two, three and four and then do two single crochets into the next stitch and then repeat that one more time to finish off round four. So like that and there we have finished round four and now round five follows the same pattern but we're going to do five single crochets and then two into the next and we're going to do that two times. So do one single crochet into five stitches. And then do two both into the next stitch and now repeat that one more time so there we have finished round five and now we're on to round six and for this round we're going to do six single crochets and then two single crochets into the next stitch and do that set of stitches two times for round six So there I have finished round six and now we're on to round seven and this round is our final increase round and you can probably guess what we're going to do. We're going to do seven single crochets and then two into the next two times and like I said you could be using a stitch marker if you wanted but I'm not going to I'm just counting these two sets. So there I have come to the end of round seven and now for the next two rounds, so for rounds eight and nine, we're just going to do one single crochet into each stitch around. And there should be 18 single crochets in each round. And these are the last two rounds of our ear. So go down into the first stitch and work a single crochet. And I'm going to use my stitch marker now as these stitches are quite easy to lose track of. And now I'm going to do one into the next stitch and do this all the way around for round eight and then nine. So 
I have worked those two rounds and there I have finished the ear and if you wanted a bigger or longer ear to match a dog that you might have then you can just do extra rounds of plain single crochet and then you want to fasten off and thread that end so leave a long tail or a long end and thread it through a yarn needle and we're going to sew up the bottom of the ear here using the whip stitch so go in through two stitches, pull your yarn through, and this is the same thing that we did with the arms, and then go in through the next stitch, and the same one on the opposite side, pull the yarn through, back around to the same side, so we're always going through the same side here with the whip stitch, and do this all the way along. So once you have finished doing the whip stitch all the way along, do not cut that yarn as you can use it to attach the ears to the head. And you then want to go ahead and make your second ear. And you can see with Dudley Dog here, I made the ears in a slightly different color to the rest of the dog, the rest of the head. So once you have made the second ear, you will have all of the parts to your dog and you can then sew them together. And as I have mentioned in previous tutorials, you want to sew the arms to the body first and then add the head, then add the legs. And then the last thing that you want to do is add the ears. So when I added the ears, this is how I have attached them. So I have gone just off the side of the eyes in the center of the head like this. So I have attached them kind of in a straight line and that way they stick up off the side of the head. And then once you have sewn all of your animal together, the last thing you want to do is add the face. And there are lots of different ways to add the face, but this is how I like to do it. And I will quickly show you how to do that now. So we are going to start off with the eyes and you want to take your yarn needle and you preferably want quite a small needle and then a scrap of black yarn. And then you want to take your head and make sure that it's the right way up. And when you are adding the face, I would recommend that you have all of your animals sewn together first so that you can make sure that it is all in the right place. But I'm just going to show you on this head here. So take the face or the head and go to the nose or the center at the end and go up and then a couple of stitches to the right. And so I'm going to go into this stitch here and you can kind of see where it dips down where it dips down here is where you want to add the eyes. And if you have crocheted any of my other animals in this series, then you will probably know how to do this as I have explained it in each tutorial. So you want to go in through the stitch and then come out and try to make sure that you're not picking up any stuffing and pull your yarn through. And I like to go around this one stitch two to three times for the eyes. So I'm going to hold this end down here and then come back around and then go around this stitch, making sure that you're not picking up any stuffing. So I'm going to go around it and pull my yarn through and then come back around and pull the yarn through again. And then I'm going to go around this stitch a third time. Like that. And there I have created the first eye. And now you want to insert your hook down into the same space and then go inside the head and come out somewhere else in the head far away and pull the yarn through. And then you can pull this yarn tight and cut it off and then do the same thing with this other end here. Thread it through your needle. So go in through the same stitch, out somewhere else, thread the yarn through the needle and then pull the yarn through. And there we have done the first little eye. And then you want to do a second one along the same line, just off the center, but this time to the left. 
So I would put my second eye here and they're never going to be exactly the same, but that's okay. This is a handmade little toy, so that's fine. So just go off the center and make your second eye. And then to do the nose, you want to take your yarn needle and then another scrap of black. Then going right through the center, you want to come along the top here and go in and across two or three stitches. So like that and pull the yarn through and then come back around through the same space and out through the same space again and pull your yarn through. And you want to do that a few times and try to kind of come down a little bit like I did with this nose. So go in through a few stitches down and then if you can, try and make the stitches a little bit smaller as you go down to get a triangle effect. And then you can do the same thing, work this end or weave this end into the inside of the head and there you will have finished the face. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And in the description box below this video, I will leave links to the rest of the tutorials in this series. So for all of the different animals and the outfits, and all of the outfits fit any animal. And I will also leave links to the written pattern in the description box as well. And in the description box, I will also leave links to where you can find my Twitter and Instagram. So I always like to post updates and pictures on there. And I would love to see photos of your crochet work on Twitter and Instagram as well. And thank you again for watching. Bye.